The Taliban might have taken over Kabul, the airport and most of Afghanistan, but one province still remains out of their reach. It is the Panjshir Valley. Fresh clashes between the Taliban and the National Resistance Front have broken out in parts of the Panjshir province. No casualties have been reported yet. Local sources say clashes have also erupted in the Jabal Saraj district of Parwan province. Kavak Panjshir and Andar districts of Baglan province. Earlier, vehicles carrying Taliban reinforcements were seen driving through the valley on Tuesday after clashes with militia fighters killed at least seven people on Monday night. Since the fall of Kabul just over two weeks ago, the Panchi Valley is the only province to hold out against the Taliban. Meanwhile, Fahim Dashti, a spokesman for the National Resistance Forces, a group loyal to the local leader Ahmad Masood, has said that the fighting occurred on the western entrance of the valley. Dashti said that the attack may have been a test to gauge the valley's defences. While at least seven Taliban members were killed, two members of the NRF were also injured in the failed Taliban attack. Last night there was an attack by Taliban at the entrance of the Panjshir Valley. They may have tried to test their luck to enter Panjshir, but they were unlucky. They have lost uh, seven or eight and uh, same number uh, wounded. Uh, unfortunately, a couple of resistance personnel also were wounded. Masood, who is the son of the former anti-Soviet Mujahideen commander Ahmad Shah Masood, is leading the resistance fighters in the Panjshir Valley. He commands a force of several thousand fighters made up of local militias and remnants of the Afghan army and special forces units who managed to escape before the Taliban captured Kabul. Masood has called for a negotiated settlement with the Taliban, but has said his forces will resist if their province is attacked. A significant force of Taliban fighters moved to the area, but serious bloodshed had been avoided so far as the two sides attempted to engage in negotiations. Panjshir is a narrow valley in the Hindu Kush mountains, located approximately 140 kilometers north of capital Kabul. It has limited entry points and its geography offers a natural advantage. The city of just 3,600 kilometers is currently surrounded by the Taliban fighters. The Northwest province has shown resistance to outside interference for over four decades now. And for more on this story, our correspondent Anas Malik, who has been in Afghanistan, has sent us this report from Kabul. Take a look. The situation in the province of Panjshir remains uncertain with the Taliban uh, launching a fresh offensive on the 30th of August. We've seen that the resistance front has been uh, has been pushing or rather trying to push back the Taliban, but the Taliban are, are now claiming to have entered the Panjshir Valley and uh, they, can, uh, they claim to have taken over the Shotal district, that is the entrance to the Panjshir district, Panjshir province. Uh, this is a claim by the Taliban that is yet to be independently verified. Uh, uh, sources tell me that uh, about 8 to 10 Taliban men have been killed uh, in these recent offensives, whereas about 10 to 15 uh, people from uh, Panjshir have also been killed. Uh, uh, we saw that the talks between uh, factions of Panjshir and uh, Taliban have failed. Amir Khan Muttaqid, the, uh, uh, the head of Dawa and Gardis Commission, has uh, uh, publicly announced in a voice note as well that uh, uh, the talks have failed. There were talks that were ongoing last week, until last week, where the two side had, uh, sides had agreed to not attack each other's position uh, and to go for another round of talks on uh, this past Friday, but that did not happen. Anas Malik in Kabul, Afghanistan, for Vion, World is One. We on now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.